John here, and click today number 173. It's a Petrucci inspired pentatonic picking thing. If you want the tabs, you have a link down in the description. And as usual, I'm gonna play it one slowly and then break it down. During the breakdown, I'm gonna share some practice advice that you can apply to this thing and pretty much anything else you're practicing. So with that said, we're gonna start here on the 14th fret of the D string. <laughs> Right, so this one is based purely on the F sharp minor pentatonic scale and you should know that scale but it's one flat three four five flat seven so just five notes penta means five uh, and we start here with this sort of fragment so first we're just gonna go and the way that I pick this is up down down up could alter the picket whoops apparently not but it's, it's just smoother to get do it with, with uh, uh, economy picking, I find. Uh, if you absolutely suck at economy picking, it's not gonna be <laughs> smoother doing it that way. So feel free to try to open pick it instead. So it's not a crazy speed, so you, you can get away with either. But I, in this case, just prefer doing it with uh, economy picking, in case you're wondering. And, and, you have all the pick strokes that I used for this one uh, in the actual tab file as well. So I do that once from the D string, and then from the G string, same thing. You just need to follow the scale, obviously. And after that, I do it once more, but this is a lead into the descending groups of six sequence here. So the way that I pick this though is down, hammer, down, up. So. So it's a bit of a legato here, so I have down, hammer, down, up, pull off. Uh, and here's the, the downbeat of, um, actually it's not, it's the second beat of the bar. Uh, so, but this starts on the upbeat, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So, and that's the same thing goes for the, the first two here. So we start on the upbeat and play three. Uh, 16 note triplets, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that's the rhythm. Right, so, and the different thing here, I guess, is that I'm, I'm actually playing this with an upstroke, uh, and that means that each beat, each downbeat will actually be on an on upstroke now, so when you go down, uh, And that's just how I, I came up with this lick. So there's no, you know, you don't have to do it that way. It's just the way that I played it. So if you want to pick everything, you can do that. Uh, if you want to start on an upstroke and, you know, auto pick everything, that's totally up to you. But I'm just showing you the way that I played it. So again, down, hammer, down, up, pull off. And then from here, it's all picked. Up, down, up, down. And when I say the sequence going down here, it's basically this Eric Johnson type sequence, really. Uh, but Petrucci has used this in a lot of things as well. Uh, so that would be the complete sequence going down. So basically you have to go down three strings at a time. So uh, one, two, three, go back one, and then restart. One, two, three, go back one. Like that. So that's actually a good thing to practice, actually. So you can take this whole thing and just do it in all the remaining four positions as well. So if we take the, the previous one, now I went through, I kept going with the sequence, I didn't end it as before. Uh, and then, you know, the one above here. Uh, So, and then work out the other ones as well. And I would take each of these, you know, starting at the lowest available position, go all the way up and, and then all the way back. If you do that with all five positions, that's a really good picking workout. And also you will make sure that you really ingrain this pattern so you can use it uh, wherever you see fit instead of having to have like, oh no, it has to be in this position and in this, um, this shape and otherwise I can't do it. 
Uh, and you also you might find that, oh, actually I like, you know, when I play this in the third shape, it sounds better to me. So, or not, but you know, you, if you don't try it, you won't know. So that's a general thing you should do. Take things that you learn, that you like the sound of, and then move it around diatonically as well as chromatically. Chromatically is more for really ingraining a specific pattern. Uh, doing it diatonically is to not only work on the technique itself, but also expanding it, because you're gonna be using slightly different fingerings and things like that. So once we get to this point then, uh, in the actual lick, Just do this, so a slight bend, this quarter bend again, and whatever you do, don't stop. It will sound like shit, so you need to be keep going. And then just get to this note, you know, while this is moving, so you don't, you don't stop ever. Because whenever you stop, it's gonna sound very much out of tune. But if you don't have it, it's gonna sound like Guitar Pro. Uh, so, not a guitar pro, a guitar profile, so. And after I pick this note, I slide into it again. And it's not a specified slide, really. It doesn't have to be from this note. Whoops. So it's more about getting that articulation going into the note. And after that, I end with this uh, hybrid pick thing. Uh, and it's basically just octaves and fifths. Uh, we ha add the fourth here as well. So we do, um, so I go 14 to 16, and I play this down M finger. You could pick this as well, 16th notes at 120, so it's not terrifyingly fast, but it's gonna be easier with the hybrid picking for sure. And slide it down like that as well but basically 14 16 move up to the fifth do the same thing fifth and the octave of the fifth then we're back to the root when do another octave but we have to expand it so you don't get get that so and then we play the fourth but we don't do the uh, octave here instead we slide up to the fifth and then do the octave of the fifth and then slide down to the octave of the fourth so you're kind of fooling the ear a bit there. Uh, what I mean by that is that you get this, you get the octave of this note, but you have it's displaced. So you're gonna get it after, and that makes for a, kind of a cool effect. And also, it fit the chord better when I ended on. If I ended here, it sounded better. So, and that's about it for for the lick. And as far as practicing this, well, I sort of covered that, but. Uh, in general, just make sure that you try different articulations. You know, you, you could be like, well, why didn't you alter and pick everything here? Well, it just sounded better to me not doing that. So just because you can pick something doesn't mean that you should. Uh, because that it's kind of like if you listen to a saxophone player, they wouldn't be tonguing every note. They would be sounding really stiff and weird. So, uh, and I'm saying this because when I was teenager, I thought that, oh no, you should pick everything because that's harder, so that must be better. You have to alternate pick everything, which is a very unmusical and stupid way to, to look at music. Uh, and it wasn't that until I had this guitar teacher who showed me, and it's actually, it was a bass player, but it was a really good bass player. Uh, but he, I had him as a guitar teacher for a while there, in my first couple of years I was playing. Uh, and he, basically gave me some Robin Ford licks to to work on and I saw like this kind of thing and I was like <laughs> I played it like this why because I was stupid and thought that no it's harder to pick it and he was like what are you doing it's like it's a hammer on yeah but you know I want to pick everything also Aldemiola told me to pick everything like yeah but it doesn't sound the same and then I was like ah True, all right, so. So don't be, don't be like me, basically. Uh, I made a shit ton of the stupid stuff like that. So, and it's all ego-based because like, oh, it's harder to play with alternate picking, who cares, all right? Uh, now, just find the easiest way you can get something to sound in the way that you want it to. And unfortunately, if you like this sort of fast picking sound, it's, 
can't get that sound any other way than actually pick the notes, uh, whether you do economy picking or autumn picking, but, but it's a certain articulation you get when you pick the notes. But that doesn't mean that everything needs to be picked all the time. So, so try to step back and be like, all right, if I heard someone play this, what would I like better? Everything picked or you know, what, a combination of things or whatever it might be. And if you can do that, it's easier to sort of step back and not be so ego driven, instead be driven by like, okay, what sounds the best? what's the best choice for this musical situation uh, so again give that a try try different articulations and uh, don't be afraid to not pick everything all the time so uh, i'm gonna leave it with that and uh, see you in the next one